Hey everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky, Beeble Bum here, and today I'm going to show you the best way to do the Frigate Fleet Expeditions. Now, the Frigate Fleet Expeditions are part of Expedition number 8, Polestar. I want to show you a few tricks that will help you in getting there easier and just less hassle. Now, if you look at your expedition, you will have to complete the fleet expeditions. You can see we have to do 8 of them. That is the, by sending them out. And of course, we have the other one here where we have to expand our fleet. We need to purchase seven more frigates, which we can do later on as well. Now, let's start with the beginning. From the moment that the expedition starts, you will be able to send out your frigates. You can simply go to the bridge console here, upgrade control, go to base parts and upgrades. And in there, you will find the frigate fuel, which you can unlock. And that is going to allow you to start sending your only frigate you have out to the system. Now, we don't want to do that. I don't want to spend my salvage frigate modules. I don't want to use them for that. I want to use them for something else later. Now, if you want to do this cheaper and if you want to have more bang for your buck, is you just wait for doing the fleet missions until you have warped to a new system. As you can see right there, one of the milestones is engage engines, which is warping to a new system. Once you have that milestone, you will be able to unlock another blueprint now for that we go to the back here and what we're going to be building we're going to be building a fleet command room we're going to build one right in the back this is the one we need and we just go to the fleet command room and talk to it this is now going to calibrate and you will also get the blueprints to be able to build more of them if you need to now you already are getting 200 tons of this as you can see here uh, you can make more if you want to. I have enough to make another 50 ton. If you have more, you will be able to make more as well. Once you have the frigate fuel, you can simply go to the navigator right here, view potential expeditions, and then send your expedition to one of these. Now, the one we're having right now, this looks like a trade ship, I would say. So if we just go to the trade mission here, trade clipper, you can see it's a B-class. So we'll just take that one, send it, and you can see it is already two star, two star. And because we have enough launch fuel, we can now send them out. So let's do that. Let's send out this ship. Now with this is all done, what we can do as well is we can get some more frigates. If you did the expedition before, you can already go and get your frigates from the anomaly. So this step is only important if you did any of the expeditions before. If you received rewards like the living frigates, like this one, organic frigate, if you got the Leviathan, then you can go and get that one. Or if you got the Normandy, which is also another reward from the second. You can see I've now added two more frigates. And if you go into your, you will see that I now have three frigates in my fleet, which is very easy and cheap. Now, be able to hire more frigates, you will have to warp more, at least five times, if I recall correctly. So let us just go to the warp map here. And we need to at least warp four more times because we just did one warp. We're just going to continue warping to the next one. All right. Now, after a, a few different warps, five or six, let's just jump in our little shuttle here and let's see if we can find ourselves another fleet. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of freighters right there. So let's go and check them out. And normally, let's just pulse a little bit so we can a little bit closer. Normally, they should be starting to pop up if we can hire one. All right, you can see there's a recruitable frigate here. There's another one right there. So let's just call one in. And we just um, talk to them, inspect frigate. You can see this is an S-Class. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Anyway, I have an S-Class right here. Normally, this is not happening that often. You can see I do have a 27 million in my inventory. For people that are wondering how to get money, there are some tricks. Um, if you did expeditions, you can go and claim some of your ships and just scrap them and sell them. If you, once you got the money, you should be able to buy yourself frigates. Once you buy that frigate, this frigate will now warp away and it will join your fleet right there. So the one we just hired now just joined our fleet. That means we have now four of the fleets we need. So if you need eight, that means you will have to purchase that amount. So you will, we, we have one when we start with, and of course you will have to buy seven more or you will have to find two ones you got from your expeditions. 
Now, as you can see, I do have only two fleet rooms which are both occupied. Either you will have to build more fleet rooms. So now you have three rooms. That means I will be able to send more of them away. But there is a little trick and I'm not sure if they're going to fix this or not. So let's go to the navigator here. View potential expeditions. We're just going to take the combat control. I'm going to send there our Normandy out for that. All right, now I have done three of them. You can see that now three of the fleet command rooms are occupied, but these are going to take some time. If you look at the managed fleet, this one here is going to take 26 hours. This is going to take 20 hours. This is going to take five hours. Uh, that means you can only come and claim these tomorrow. So if you look at here, you can see we are at zero right now. Now, there is a little trick, as I said before, and that is by abandoning your missions. Abort expedition. It now will turn green and you will be able to go into the Manage Expedition again. Download Mission Log. You will see nothing will happen here, but you will be able to end the expedition. And if you now go into your milestones, you will see that one of the expeditions has finished. So it is not necessary for you to finish the complete expedition and wait 20 hours. And you can just go into each of these. You can go to each of the terminals, manage the fleet, abort each of the expeditions. And then of course also end the expedition of each of them. And here we go. Now I have done three of them. And you will see if you go to your missions here, you have done three of them. And that's a quick way how to boost your fleet expeditions without having to wait. Now, before you say, oh, this is a very quick way to get finished, take note that if you go to the navigator, there is only five expeditions you can do every day. That means that the ones that I just selected, are all three of them are blanked out, which means there's only two more missions left to do. And then we'll have to wait until the next day so we can do the three remaining ones and complete this milestone. All right, these were a few tips and tricks on how to do the milestones that are related to the frigate fleets. I hope this helped you out and also for the people that are not really sure how this works. So I hope this gives you a bit of an insight to the methods on how to do the fleet missions. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like on your way out and I will see you again for another guide very soon. This was Beeblebum. Goodbye for now.